batch programming we are going to discuss the basic commands of the batch programming that will be in windows 10 and we need the cmd to run all the basic commands so type windows plus r to run for the run and there type the cmd to run it and here it comes whatever command you type it will say for example i have typed the echo and it says echo is on so if you type a command here like echo this is a message it will run it and here it shows this is a message so let's exit it first and open notepad and there we will see the commands of bash like at the rate echo of echo copy x copy rename or ren they do the similar things and then there is a start erase or delete and there is for directory making there is md to make the directory or mkdir and then there is go to for version there is vr and pause so we will be discussing these commands for now and let's start with echo of so if you run cmd and type at the rate echo of it will hide all the details here like see users win 10 but when you will type the command it says echo is off so to make the echo off you type at the rate echo space off but if the command it will work similarly so if we let's say i have typed in a wrong command it will say this command is not recognized and when i type correct command will say so let's exit it for now we have seen what does the at the rate echo of does it has the displays and just it will gives a clear cmd console so we will type a at the rate echo of because we don't need any metadata to be presented and then we will use the command echo and type this is a message so it will be printing this is a message let's save it as dot bat file all the batch programming will be saved as dot bat extension so message dot bat will be the file name and i will be saving on my desktop here it is the bat message so let's run it it comes and goes because uh, you just see that here it comes and goes so we need to give pause so it will stay there for a while until we interact with it so let's save it and then run it here it goes it shows this is a message press any key to continue this is the default statement that will be provided by the pause command and if you click any key it will goes off so if you don't need data statement then angular bracket and type null and then save it and then after you run it here it is only the this is a message command there is no extra statement but even if you interact with the key it goes off so we have seen what does the echo does so let's go to a next command that is copy and we will be using uh, also using mkdir or md to do this let's use mkdir and create a directory folder and then copy the message dot bat file in folder remember the folders or the uh, files name will be in double quotes and then 
using the echo statement just print message dot back has been copied and then pause to see the console for a while and then save it now save as copy dot bat and here it comes when you run it it says one file is copied and message is message dot bat has been copied so let's cons close this and here it say here it is it has created a folder name using the mkdir command and then copy the copy dot bat uh, copy the message dot bat in folder and when you go into the folder here it is message dot bat it is windows batch file so as you can see that this has been copied and using the pause command we have seen the folder same day screen so let's and this we have seen the mkdir command or you can do similar things with the mdir also those are basically the same we have seen the copy command echo and pause so next command we will be we will be seeing is x copy and x copy is similar to copy it basically copies like uh, if you have to copy all the c into all d if there is a d drive then it will copy all the c into d or into a folder or let's say desktop here so let's uh, skip this you can do this i don't need want to do that the next command will be a start so a start uh, it is runs the uh, command whatever you have to say basically if you say like uh, www.google.com then it will start www.google.com so let's save it and check for now save as google dot bat here it comes the google bash file the windows bash file that we have made and after the cmd has run it will start a browser and there it will open the www dot google dot com that is the google website it will open so here it is google and here it comes so let's close this so the next command we will be seeing after it is rename so rename uh, let's say i want to rename the message dot bat into echo dot bat and there is a similar command called rn as i've discussed earlier so we will copy that bat to let's say mkdir mkdir dot bat then save it save as rename dot bat and here it comes when you interact with the rename dot bat it goes the message has been converted to echo dot bat and the copy dot dot bat has been renamed to mkdir so the next command we'll be discussing is erase there are two commands to delete let's say i want to delete the echo dot bat and you can also use del that is for delete and we will be deleting mkdir dot bat so save as delete dot bat and then here is the windows bash file when you click on it this to windows bash file has been deleted 
so next command will be saying is move let's say i want to move the google google dot path into folder then save as and i move dot bat here it comes a move and when i click on it the google dot bat file will goes into the folder so it goes it has been moved from here into the folder the message we has also copied but when you copy there is a difference between copy and move that it's copy it's make a copy of the original file and paste it in the folder and in move it takes the file and move it into the folder so now we will be discussing the have us already discussed the mkdir so we will just see the go to statement here so go to statement go to let's say we have to go to b and then there is a two a block it means go to a and then there is b block it prints go to b and we have to pause the result so here it's pause so what it does is it hides all it will lock off and then it will go to b that is to this block and it will only skip the statement echo go to b and then result skipping the block a part so let's save it for now and type go to dot bat and when you open it it says go to b it has it has skipped the part of the a block so if you type go to a it will go to a block then will print the echo go to statement then it will go to b block then it will print the go to b and then it will hold the result so let's save it and run there it goes go to a go to b both block has been executed so you can make a loop of it you can jump the statement you can do whatever you wish like to do now to check the version let's say what version is it have got the version and then pause the result to see it and save as version dot bat when you run it it says microsoft windows version 10.0 it has on the version of the os so here it what it does i have i have discussed all the com basic commands but you can also check all the commands uh if you type help on the cmd it will show all the commands that like shut down so sort start is all up so check and try more commands like this thank you for watching and please do subscribe to my channel and like this video